guys and welcome to another episode of the DMG Tech Show. I'm your host Jonathan Parkinson and in this episode we're going to talk about fixing the touchpad on the Acer C720. Now this very well could work for any Chromebook based device and when you're running an Ubuntu version or an elementary OS or whatever you're trying to run uh, we need to actually fix the touchpad and what I'm going to recommend doing is if you are running elementary OS Luna is the first update your kernels and you can find that in the a playlist for this video and if you are running the Freya version of elementary OS which is still in beta version at the time of this video uh, do not update your kernels because it can run into a lot of problems I have reinstalled uninstalled I've done this so many times I can't explain to you the very uh, dire thing to not update your kernels quite yet so now that's not saying that some of them are gonna work it's just not all of them do and to, instead of having to reinstall everything, it's just it's a pain in the ass to leave it the same. So the first thing you need to do is actually go ahead and see what kernel you have installed. So you can just type in uname, literally the letter U, and then name, space, dash, R. And as you can see, I am running the 13.3 uh, generic version. Uh, so just keep that in mind, whatever you're running. So make sure you are running at least 3.2, or excuse me 3.12.5 or higher and that's where this kind of guide comes into it's based off of 3.12.5 but we're gonna make some changes so I'll have a link to this and you need to go ahead and scroll all the way down or I might just put everything in the description and then you can do it yourself but this website's been kind of helpful I'd like to give credit where credit is due uh, so we're gonna fix the touchpad first thing we need to do is we need to download this so you just go ahead and right click it click Save As it should pop up. Uh, remember that it is cross right here and not cron. So you can just put an N on that save if you'd rather it be that way, but you're gonna have to mentally take note of that. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is then go ahead and open up our file, our download folder. Go ahead and right click it, open up with scratch. And as you can see right here, it's saying grab that. We need to remove this and we're gonna replace it with this except we need to make some changes to it. So if I go in here, there it is right there that I need to change. So I'm just gonna copy it, or sorry, highlight it. I'm gonna click paste, there's the new one. So what you need to do and take into consideration is whatever version of, uh, whatever kernel you have running, you're gonna to need to change it here. So since you saw that I'm running 13, or sorry, 3.13, I'm just gonna come in here and change everything to 13. So I can get rid of the 0.5 that's everywhere. Make sure that you do leave the dot in between the dot, the last number and the 13, or sorry, and the tar. So I'm gonna come over here, remove the 0.5, the two, replace it with a three. And that looks like everything. Uh, once you've done all that, you can go ahead and just exit out. If you are using Scratch, uh, it'll save automatically. If you're using something else, make sure you do Scratch it, or sorry, that you do save it. You then need to run the terminal or run the command like that and as you can see it says cron but it is saved as cross so that is why I was telling you earlier if you do use the exact thing copy and paste this here make sure you just change that n out for an s press enter and it will run the command it should take about five to ten minutes depending on how fast your internet connection is and go ahead and reboot your device and it should work if you do have any questions or comments as always leave them down below uh, if you do run into some issues, you need to let me know what version of Ubuntu or version of elementary OS you're running. So that means 13.04, 12.04, 14.4, 14.10, whatever it is. Uh, leave that in the description. Let me know what kernel you're running as well, uh, what Chromebook you're running or what device you're running, as well as any kind of important information or any errors that come up in your terminal. Uh, that way we can speed things along and I can help you. If you just say it doesn't work, there's no way I can help you with that because uh, what doesn't really work is you just saying it doesn't work. Uh, I do get that quite a bit, and that's why I'm not helping those individuals because just saying things don't work is not helping anybody. Uh, take the time out the way I'm trying to take the time out here for you guys. Uh, the reason I say that is because if you let me know, I can fix it, and then if somebody ever comes to this uh, video, they can scroll in the comments, see the problem, see where we fixed it, and it's just helping everybody out, and we'll make this a community effort. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video.